So, shout out to Brucey for sending me this product. I mean, this wine making kit. We're gonna unbox it together. Oh my god! An easy wine and cider making kit so you can make your own wine at home. Who loves wine? Who else loves wine? You can make your own wine at home. So they send you the kit. Oh my gosh, they also send you wine glasses so you can store them. Y'all, look at this, a gallon. So, I'm gonna be making the wine with you guys on camera. This is, this is just gonna be fun. This is gonna be so much fun. Um, we're, let's put these to the side and read the instructions. If you're reading this, you've taken a leap, a beautiful, wonderful leap into a challenge and a new hobby. Maybe you're fed up with not knowing which preservatives and how many chemicals are in your wine. Maybe you had enough howdy touty winos who got off by questioning your vintage. Maybe you just love natural drinks. Or maybe you're like us, just someone who loves adventure and who loves to create something new and unique. No matter your journey, we're all sharing a destination, a wonderful new hobby with endless possibilities. This is definitely about to be a new hobby of mine. Okay. So this is how it looks when you open up the kit. Welcome to your newest crafty obsession, science experiment, friendship maker, cute date night, and bubbly hobby. <laughs> it comes with this green thing. Oh, and some labels for your drinks. It says, my name is Blink, born on Blink at... And some um, pamphlets and stuff. So, what's inside? A gallon. So, I need to get some stuff of my own. So, I'm going to need a gallon of my joy. Two to three cups of sugar. A gallon jug to pour in everything. I hope I got everything that I'm going to need. I guess we should start. So, step number one. Get your juice ready. We're going to be using cranberry juice. Pour both of your juice bottles into your gallon jug. This is my jug. I cleaned it. I'm going to pour my juice in here, like it says. The recipe does call for two 64 ounces. I guess two of them would have filled this up, but I don't have two. So I'm gonna do half the, so for every step, I'm just gonna use half the ingredient. I mean, half the measurements. <laughs> so that was step one. Step two is to make space for sugar and fizzing. So pour out two cups of juice, so I don't need to make space because it's not full. So if you were to use two, you would pour out two cups to make space for the fizzling. Then number three is to add one and three fourth cups of sugar to your juice, which I'm going to be adding less because I didn't use the full amount of juice. Um, so I'll do... Is this 
doesn't matter. Yeah, it comes with the, um, what is it called? That's a lot of sugar. I didn't know wine had that much sugar in it, honestly. Oh, this is about to be messy. So I'll put that to the side. Step number four is to shake it to dissolve the sugar. Number five is to add one whole Brucey bag and then shake it again. I don't know, should I add the whole thing or half since I didn't use? Um, I think I'll just add the whole thing. Why not? Mm. I'm just gonna add one of them. your gallon jug then fill the plastic part with water to the fill how do I put water on here oh. with the included stickers and give it a name. So I'm gonna name mine. Hmm. Turn up. My name is Turn Up. Born on what's today's date? November. 29th, 2022, at what time is it? 2.56 p.m. So you do that, and then step number seven, it says to cover your jug in a towel or blanket, then put it in the warmest place that you can. Keep your wine in a warm, dark place for five days. If you have time, be sure to give the bottle a swirl once a day to keep things moving. After the five days are up, taste test your wine to see if it's dry enough for your liking. Just taste for sweetness here, not flavor. If it's too sweet, leave it in your warm, dark place for three more days. If it's dry enough to tart, if it's dry enough to too tart or too sour and continue the, to the next step. Remove the clear plastic airlock and rubber stopper from your jug. So I'll come back on the camera for those next steps. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. So yes, I'm going to go put this in a dark, warm area. And then in five days, I'll come back to you guys and show you guys um, the next following steps after that and show you guys how it looks. Um, thank you again, Brucey, for sending this to me. This is cool. Uh, I'm sure other people would enjoy doing this at home, too, with their friends, family, partner, boyfriend, spouse, husband, wife, girlfriend, whatever. This I felt like it was fun. You get to make your own wine? Why not? Um, so thank you again for sending this to me. Right now, they're having a 50% off. I will insert the link down below for you guys to purchase this. All right. Later. You guys, don't forget to come back in five days for part two, the results and a taste test.